Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video is going to be about how to install and configure the CSF or the config server security firewall in a Linux distro Ubuntu. Before actually jumping into the installation steps, let me give you a brief introduction to the CSF firewall. CSF is a firewall configuration tool for Linux systems that provides enhanced security for servers by blocking malicious traffic and allowing only authorized traffic. It is easy to install and configure and can be used to secure servers running various services such as Apache, Postfix, Exim and more. CSF includes features such as login or intrusion detection, IP blocking and SYN flood protection to help protect servers from various types of attacks. It also includes a command line interface and a web-based GUI for ease of use and management. For this demo, I'm going to install and configure the CSF firewall on my mail server. To know the IP address of the mail server, I simply ping the mail server hostname which is mail.onlinesuchana.com. This is my mail server IP and I'm already logged into the mail server host via SSH with the root user. We can view the public IP before address of the network or the host by running curl if config.me on a Linux terminal. To check uh, which Linux distro I'm currently logged into, uh, we can do cat space slash etc slash os dash release. As we can see, it's a uh, Ubuntu Linux version 20.04 focal fossa. Clearing the screen uh, with Ctrl plus L shortcut keys, I'm going to update the local apt repository to the latest. It may take some time, so I fast forward the video. The apt repository is now updated, but I can see the 49 packages that need to be upgraded. I'm not going to upgrade them right now. You can upgrade and move ahead however. Now let's download the CSF binary files using the wget command followed by the download link. You can type the link manually or you can copy or paste it from the description below. After the archive file is downloaded, since the file is in .tgg extension, let's extract it using tar space hyphen xbgf and the file name that is csf.tgz. The file is now extracted to a directory named csf. Before running the CSF installation script, let's check if other firewalls such as UFW are active on the server. The UFW status is inactive. Also, I recommend you to disable the UFW and other firewalls if they are already installed or configured. Now let's get into the CSF directory with the CD command and listing its content. We can see here the CSF installation script. Let's run the installation script as ss space install.ss. In a very short time, uh, as you can see, the installation is completed. As the next step, uh, let's test if all the components of the CSF uh, file are OK by running a Perl script, uh, which is inside the slash usr slash local slash csf slash bin directory. And the name of the script is cftest.pl. Everything is OK and the CSF should function on this server now. There are basically three files that we will be playing uh, while configuring the CSF firewall and updating or modifying the firewall rules. They are csf.conf, csf.allow and csf.deny. All files are located in the directory slash etc slash csf. Let's open the configuration file and take a short tour. To deny a specific IP or a range of IPs or a list of IPs, we will have to open the csf.deny file and add the IP or IPs there. In the same way, uh, to allow a specific IP or range of IPs or a list of IPs, 
we will have to open the csf dot allow file and add the ip or ips there my ip is already added to the file which means my ip is already whitelisted next for the testing purpose i go to my browser and turn on the vpn now if i check my public ip it's 27.50.74.2 although the firewall is installed i haven't created any rule yet so anyone in the internet can access my mail server now just for our demo purpose i'm going to deny access to the ip 27.50.74.2 to my mail server for this i just open the file csf.deny add the ip there save the file and reload or restart the csf firewall service now access to the ip to the mail server is blocked to verify i go to the browser and reload the page as you can see the site can't be reached to allow again open the file Comment the line with the IP or remove the IP from the file, save the file and reload the CSF service. Access is allowed back. Finally, I want to put the IP 27.50.74.2 on the allow list and restrict all the rest. For this, I will open the file csf.allow. Enter the IP and exit from the file. Then I am going to open the csf.conf file. Search the tcp underscore in, hit enter, switch to insert mode, remove all the incoming tcp port numbers and save and exit the file. This means I am blocking all the ports from all the IPs except the IPs on the csf.allow file. To activate the rule, restart the csf. Now the two IPs are allowed and all the other IPs are blocked. So to verify, I switch the VPN country to the United States from the current Australia. This will change the current IP. The IP now is changed to 37.221.173.247. Now we should be blocked to access the mail server. To check if the rule is working, I go to the browser and reload the email client page which is loading from the mail server. As you can see, it keeps loading but can't reach the site. Okay friends, that's all for now. If you get any problem during installation and configuration of CSF firewall, write me on the description below. Also, you can refer to the video about troubleshooting the CSF installation by visiting the link in the description below. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.